Hello guys, so today I'll be taking you through some tutorials on how to solve simultaneous equations. So the first equation here, we have 2x plus 3y equal to 13 and 2x plus y equal to 7. So considering this is the first equation here and this is the second equation. Now equation 1 minus equation 2. We have 2x plus 3y equal to 13 and 2x plus y equal to 7. So 2x minus 2x will cancel out. We have 3y minus y which will end up with 2y equal to 13 minus 7 which you have 6. So dividing both sides by 2 you have y equal to 3 because divided by 2 and dividing it by 2, 2 cancels out with 2 and 6 divided by 2 gives you 3. So then substituting y equal to 3 in equation 1 where this is equation 1 here you have 2x plus 3 times y y there is 3 equal to 13 so you have 2x plus 3 times 3 which you have 9 equal to 13 so from here you have 2x equal to 13 minus 9 13 minus 9 which is equal to 4 so dividing both sides by 2 you have x equal to 2 because 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 2 times is 2 yes so x will equal to 2 now so we have the values here of y equal to 3 and x equal to 2 for this equation here now taking a second example we have 3x plus 3y equal to 18 and 5x plus 3y equal to 28 taking this as equation 1 and this as equation 2 equation 1 minus equation 2 you have 3x plus 3y equal to 18 then you have 5x plus 3y equal to 28 so substituting the two equations 3x minus 5x you have minus 2x 3y minus 3y cancels out 18 minus 28 you have minus 10 dividing both sides by the coefficient of x here which is minus 2 divide this by minus 2 divided by minus 2 minus 2 cancels out minus 2 and minus 10 divided by minus 2 you have 5 so the value of x is 5 now substituting substituting x equal to 5 in equation 2 you have 5x plus 3y equal to 28 why are you coming back now you are done eh? We are going to school. If they have not paid school fees, not there for her. Five x plus five times. School fees. Mm -hmm. Five Five times the value of x is five plus three y equal to twenty eight. So from here, 5 times 5 is 25 plus 3y equal to 28. So 3y equal to 28 minus 25, which is 3. y equal to 1. <coughs> so that's the value of y. So for this equation, you have x equal to 5. And y equal to one. <coughs> now, let's take a second equation. Let's take the third equation. Four x minus y equal to 8 and 6x plus y equal to 22 
so uh take this as equation one take this as equation two now let's say equation one plus equation two we added two equations to try to eliminate the value of y so from here 4x plus 6x is 10x minus y plus y is 0 equal to 8 plus 2 here is 30 so dividing both sides by 10 you have x equal to 3 now taking equation 4 no we have gotten the value of x which is 3 so we try finding the value of y <coughs> now substitute x equal to 3 in equation 1 going to have 4x minus y equal to 8 so from here we then have 4 times x which is 3 minus y equal to 8 4 times 3 you have 12 minus y which is equal to 8 <coughs> from here you have 12 minus 8 which is equal to y which will imply y is equal to 12 minus 8 here is 4 after having the value so here we have value of x is 3 and our value of y here is 4 after having the value of x to be 3 and the value of y to be 4 we can verify if for all these equations after solving the value of x and y we can equally verify to see if the values the answers are correct so let's say for example the second equation here having a value of x equal to 3 and y equal to 4 for this equation we can check to see if the value of x and y satisfies this equation so taking equation 2 which is 6x plus y equal to 22 6 times x was x x there is 3 plus y what the value of y is 4 equal to 22 6 times 3 is 18 18 plus 4 equal to 22 18 plus 4 will give you 22 which is equal to 22 by the right hand side so the value of x equal to 3 and y equal to 4 is correct let's try the fourth equation which is a plus 2b equal to 14 and the second equation which is 3a plus 4b equal to 34 so considering this to be equation 1 and this to be equation 2 we can then uh, take the value the coefficient of a here and multiply with the coefficient of we take the coefficient of a here and multiply equation 1 the coefficient of a in equation 1 and multiply throughout equation 2 so that we can be able to eliminate the value of a so 3 times equation 1 minus 1 times equation 2 so from here you have 3a plus 3 times 2b you have 6b equals to 3 times 14 which you have 42 
minus one times equation two three a plus one times four b you have four b equal to one times thirty four you still have thirty four so from here three a minus three a we cancel out six b minus four b you have two b equals to 42 minus 34 you have 8 dividing both sides by 2 b will be equal to 2 cancel with 2 8 divided by 2 is 4, b will be equal to 4. b being equal to 4, we can substitute in equation 1 to have the value of a. So a plus 2 times b, b which is 4, equal to 14. a plus 2 times 4 is 8, equal to 14. A will be equal to 14 minus 8, which is 6. So A is equal to 6. So the value of B here is 4 and A is equal to 6 for the equations.